Hey guys, welcome to the second episode of Foster's Handy How To's, the video series in which I take you, the player, through the different methods, figures, and statistics of each activity available in the Outer's Life of Steve. Now, today we're going to be covering copper processing and trade. Now, this would have been copper and iron both in the same video, but after a bit more you know, thought and research, I've discovered that locations and prices differ a fair bit, so iron will be saved for the next episode. Now, as with peaches and apples, the first thing I'm going to talk about in this video is funding. Now, the funding that I'm going to be talking about is what I recommend you should have when you start to do copper processing. You could potentially start with less funding, however, you may not get the most money out of this uh, as you can in a certain amount of time. So the money I recommend you have before you start copper processing and trade is $43,533. Now, the reason for this is there are four separate things you must purchase in order to do copper processing. The first thing that I recommend you purchase is a truck license, which can be acquired for the price of $20,000. The second item is a box truck. Now this can be found at the car shop uh, as we had with a quad bike in the last episode, and I'll go into that a bit more in a second, and that's purchased for $14,333. Next is the copper processing license, which you will need to process the copper that you mine, and can be purchased for $8,000. And the final item is a pickaxe which you need to mine the copper, which can be purchased for $1,200. So without further ado, let's get straight in uh, where you need to spend that money and where all the locations are and the methods you need to use. So before we begin, I just want to quickly draw your attention to the changes that have been made to Kavala Square. As you can see, the car shop has been moved slightly south, but is still there, and the car parking spaces have been removed, as this is a new car spawn. So be sure not to park your vehicles here when visiting Kavala Square. Now the first thing you want to do is purchase your truck license. This can be found at the DMV just to the side of Kavala Square as seen on the map. Simply walk up to the clerk inside the DMV as you would with any other shop, scroll your mouse wheel and middle click on buy truck license. Next up, you want to buy yourself your box truck. Now, this can be found at the car shop in Kavala Square, which you will have seen in the last video. However, it's been moved slightly, so I'm showing you again. If you go inside to the clerk, scroll your mouse wheel as normal, and go into the car shop, you can find the box truck available, and is in two colours, red or white, and for the price of $14,333. So choose your favourite colour, and click buy. Now remember, this is useful for transport, and it's also useful if you want to store extra copper inside your vehicle. That way you can earn more money per run. The final thing we need to purchase in Kavala Square is a pickaxe. Now this can be found inside the market where we sold our apples and peaches in the last video. All you have to do is take your $1,200, run over to the man inside the kiosk which is fully constructed this time, scroll your mouse wheel on the market, find the pickaxe, and click buy. Now that you've got everything you need to start mining copper, you want to head over to the copper mine. This can be found just to the southeast of Kavala as shown on the map, at the coordinates of 044126. So this is what the copper mine looks like, and you'll learn to get familiar with it. But now we're here, we want to start mining some copper, and this can be done in two different ways. Way number one is to press Y to open up your inventory, click on your pickaxe, and click use. This will start an animation for mining copper, and will take roughly 8 seconds. After 8 seconds, you'll be informed that you've collected the copper. The other method is to simply press and hold Q. If you hold down Q for the whole time you're mining, You'll never have to let go and your character will continuously mine copper after it's finished one set of mining. Now that you've collected all your copper, you want to head to the copper processing, which can be found at the coordinates 095150. Now before you head there, you even want to make sure you've already purchased your copper processing license or that you have the $8,000 on your person, as this is where you will purchase the license if you haven't already. Now that you're here at the copper processing, if you haven't already, you want to buy the license. Simply scroll your mouse wheel and click buy copper processing. Now that you've done that, 
you can scroll your mouse wheel again and click to process copper. This will take roughly 30 seconds to complete one process. And after it has, it will tell you that you've processed the amount of copper you had. Now you can head over to the trader to sell your produce. Now, the copper trader can be found just along the main highway to the northeast of Kavala, and you can see on the map. It's located at the coordinates 053144, and to get there from the copper processing, simply follow the route I'm demonstrating on screen right now. When you're here, all you have to do is simply walk up to the trader, scroll your mouse wheel to enter the copper slash iron trader, click on the amount of copper you have to sell, type in the amount, and sell it. Depending on the amount of copper you have on your person and in your truck, you'll earn different amounts of money. So now you know how to do copper processing, but you probably want a bit more information, such as how much money can you make from it in the long run. Well, if you were to do copper processing for over an hour, you would earn roughly $346,500. This is because a whole round copper trip takes roughly 20 minutes. This includes processing time, mining time, and travel time. And if you take a box truck and carry your backpack, you can carry roughly 77 copper. And copper sells for $1,500 per unit. Now if you're not sure how to get the carry your backpack, I explain it in the previous video. So check back there if you need to. Now that's pretty much all the information I've got for you guys on copper processing. You should hopefully know, now know everything you need to about the activity and should have no questions. If you still feel a little unsure however, don't feel afraid to message me in game and I can give you some help or information that you need. So thanks guys for watching and as always have a nice day and I'll see you around in the server.